Hey guys, what's going on? It's I am so random. So I'm here to review this BB gun, the P226, and um, I'm gonna do a lot of these reviews. So hopefully you guys like them. And if you got anything for me to review, go ahead and uh, shoot me an uh, uh, email. I'll put my email in the description below, or just make sure to comment down below. So I'm gonna be doing this BB gun this week and on the weekend I'll be doing a rifle BB gun so stay tuned for those guys but again guys thank you for checking out my channel and make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos and also make sure to subscribe to our main channel me and my brothers is twins 22 the link will be down in the description below we usually make top five videos there but make sure to check us out thanks and without further ado let's begin the video Hey, what is up, guys? It's I am so random, and I'm here to review a BB gun. It's a P226, uh, .177 caliber. As you can see here, I already pre-opened these. That way, I don't have to do it throughout the video. So, let's test it out. So, as you can see, it comes with the clip. Those all the features right here 200 feet per second has a spring the maximum range is 60 yards and the clip capacity is 70 BBs do not load more than 70 BBs because it will get stuck in the spring and it'll be a pain in the ass to get them out I'm not sure how many BBs come here, but there's quite a few, more than 70. So let's take this bad boy out, as you can see right there, that's the safety switch, up, down, that's open, and that's close, cock it back, you can see, I also bought that knife, but that's just to cut things open. So here we got the BBs. I already opened them and filled up the clip with the BBs as you can see right here here you go also like like I was saying earlier guys make sure to not load not to load it with a whole lot of BBs because the spring will get stuck like that right there and you'll have to use like a knife or a screwdriver to get it open but you gotta be really careful guys if not you'll just fuck up the whole spring and you'll have to buy a whole new clip or just a whole new gun also the gun was about like I would say like $40 in Walmart so here I already took the BB out so now I could pull the spring all the way down and then to load it is simple just put it like upside down and just shake it like I'm doing right here see there, there you go so I loaded. Now pull the spring back on. And you're ready to go. Just pop that bad boy in. Make sure it's all the way in. So let's go test shoot it. Also, guys, the stickers, I took them out. But that's up to you. And if you do, just don't take it outside because people or even the police might confuse it for a real gun. Hi guys, so here I got a water bottle. As you can see it's full of water. And I'm gonna test out this gun. Okay, so I'm gonna have my son record it. Here, okay, okay. Okay. So let's clock it back. And I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot at close range. Nothing happened, right? It's not it's, this gun is not really that strong. It just left a little dent, but not enough to not enough to fuck it up. Let me shoot it real close. It just bounces off. So not really not really a strong gun. It's only 200 feet per second. So let's see. If, it, let's see if it shoots the, it shoots the basketball over there. 
didn't even hit the wall so not really that strong so here you go so if I recommend it I don't think I recommend this one but I'm gonna show you another another BB gun that I will recommend in another video alright guys so here's a journal I'm trying to see if it goes through it loaded zoom in so take a shot didn't even go through the first layer okay guys left the final test damn I shot it through the hole nothing happened didn't even penetrate it as you can see there's a BB Okay, stop it. Let's shoot it at some doggy doo doo. I gotta pick this up. So, shoot it at some doggy doo doo. <laughs> Nasty. And then shoot at the wall. Let's see how well this test is. 